Hi Leo, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot and I'm here to do your reading for August 15th through the 31st. Uh, this is for Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Um, the timing is fluid, so keep that in mind. It may not resonate the day that you watch it. This is a preview. Um, so I've started this new thing where I just close my eyes and speak. And what I see right away is the King of Swords. And I saw it before I even turned the video on. Um, the King of Swords is not interested in practicality, ungrounded, just do it. Somebody who takes that leap just, just does it. Um, intellectual minded, you know, uh, looks as though you guys are very decisive. It's like you see something, you want it, but it may not be practical. So make sure that you are thinking very, very clearly at this time. Then I moved on to the judgment card. Okay, then I saw the judgment card. The judgment card is a wake-up call. Okay, it's a wake-up call. It's a wake-up call about some sort of truth and release, okay? Um, maybe you need to forgive yourself or you need to forgive others. Uh, wake-up call. This is karma. Judgment is card of karma. Be careful. Again, with that King of Swords, be careful with your actions because... Of karma okay there is karma there is karma karma is real I'm not saying that you don't believe but this is what I'm seeing so you could be experiencing some sort of karma at the end of this month this karma could have be derived even from a past life now judgment is a, is a wake-up call it's an epiphany you could get some sort of epiphany that you need to make a wiser decision or you need to make a decision and stick to it with that uh, King of Swords. Judgment is also about release. It's about releasing something that doesn't serve you so that you can really be happy, so that you can live again. So I, I really feel as though you should be focusing on your happiness. You should be focusing on something that is permanent. Because now I see the Ten of Cups. So there's an opportunity for happiness. There's an opportunity to, you know, have happily ever after. But you need to decide with the King of Swords to be practical and be wide awake in your journey. Okay, make sure that you are not trying to escape any sort of realism. Um, so I, we're going to get started here for you, Leo. But um, I feel like you have to make a decision. Now I see the two of wands. You need to make a decision and you need to stick to it and you need to really be practical in your decision making. Be logical. Um, make sure the decision that you are making is not going to hurt anybody because you know that the King of Swords holds a sword. Okay. So let's get started for Leo. Could be dealing with a Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, um, a Scorpio. <laughs> Isn't that funny? Um, interesting. Scorpio would be the judgment card. Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, King of Swords. So I'm not sure who you're dealing with, but um, you really need to be careful with that judgment card. Make sure that you are making the right judgment call. Make sure that you are wide awake. Um... Eight of Cups reversed, moving on. The Eight of Cups reversed is thinking about it, thinking about it. Perhaps you need to leave something. Judgment is about release. You know, perhaps you need to leave something behind that really isn't going to bring you emotional fulfillment. Maybe you're in denial. Uh, you know, whatever comes out, comes out. Um, you're. I feel like you guys really need to think about this. You need to think about, you know... Not looking back, not going back to things that are unhealthy for you. I feel like you guys are, you may be seizing an opportunity or looking at an opportunity that isn't really going to bring you happiness. Make sure that you are, are thinking clearly, okay? Make sure that you are thinking clearly during this time. Now, this is walking away from something, but thinking about it. You probably haven't taken those steps yet. It's reversed, but this tells me that you probably should. Those steps are there. Those steps are there. So I think that you guys keep going back and forth with something that is not going to lead to any sort of Nine of Cups. It's bringing you back to the Seven of Cups. The Seven of Cups is a delusion. It's a poor choice. 
Be careful. There's consequences. The Seven of Cups is about consequences. So right now you you haven't you know the consequences are karma. So make sure that you don't go back to something that is going to bring you some bad karma. Leo. And this doesn't I mean I don't know what this is for you because there's thousands and thousands of people that watch this, but you really need to be careful. Anxiety, fear, you know, you may be feeling lonely. She looks pretty lonely. I feel like there is an element of loneliness here that keeps you going back. Don't let your loneliness lead you into the arms or into a situation that is emotionally unfulfilling. That isn't going to lead to anything stable. Don't let your loneliness lower your standards. Love yourself first. This is a, this is the deal, Leo. Your self-respect makes you more romantically attractive. Love yourself right now. Don't give yourself away to a situation or somebody that is emotionally unavailable. Somebody that isn't going to serve you. Somebody that is, is going to keep you lonely, keep you anxious, keep you worried, keep, you know, make you have regrets. Something that doesn't honor your soul purpose. This is some sort of karmic lesson for you. Self-respect, Leo. You need to find your strength. Remember who you are, please. What do we have for Leo for the end of August? 15th through the 31st. New Enterprise. Eight of Cups reversed again. Oh my God. So you ha you might have to start over. You might have to wait. You may have to focus. You may have to plan. You may have to take baby steps. Whatever you got to do, starting over isn't easy. But going back is not going to lead you to happiness. And that is the truth. If it didn't work out before, what makes you think it's going to work out now? You need to find your backbone to follow through and stick with the task. Stick with the plan. Don't keep looking back. Please. Please. <sighs> Not being practical. We have somebody, and it's funny that I said the King of Swords. This is the Prince of Pentacles, which is the Knight of Pentacles reversed. This is somebody who, and this is, like I said, this is making the plan and sticking to it. Again, this is not following the plan. Not planning su sufficiently. Uh, there's secrets, there's lies, there's deception, there's things that you don't know. You're being deceived. You may be lying to yourself. You may be living in fantasy land. This is the, the moon card is another card of delusion. Escaping reality. Nine of swords, worry, regret. Getting hurt. You could get really, really hurt if you are not practical. You may feel like everybody is against you. Well, karma works in mysterious ways. I'm not saying that, you know, everything is your fault. I don't, I definitely am not saying that. But these are thoughts. These are ideas. Okay, these are, look at that, stabbed right in the chest. Do you want to get hurt? I feel as though uh, you really need to make and this is this is this is very similar. You need to make a, a really logical decision here unless you want to get hurt. Oh God. Somebody is avoiding rebuilding a foundation, re avoiding a change, trying to avoid uh, reality. The tower reversed. This is this is it's like something has already crumbled. It crumbled already, and now you're trying trying to build something that will never be stable, never be solid. The two of wands. I saw this, but I saw it upright. This one is reversed. This is restricting yourself, lying. Somebody is lying to themselves. They're living in some sort of delusion. 
um, indecisiveness. Prince of Swords reversed. Three of Swords. Yeah, somebody's going to get hurt. So, the Three of Swords. This is heartbreaking. This is heartbreaking. I can feel it. The Tower reversed is a necessary evil. Something was removed or you removed something for a reason. It's like, but now you're trying to rebuild something that is not meant to be rebuilt, whatever it is. It's not stable. It's not secure. It's it's false. It's a false sense of security. Oh, God. Oh, there's your con consequences. Seven of Cups. You may be choosing a lover that isn't meant to be. And there's consequences for that. Maybe, you know... You need to make a better choice. You know, this is a card of consequences. It's a card of choices. It's a card of delusion. So your challenge is, I think, loneliness. I think loneliness. This is your challenge position. You know, I think that you keep on looking back at something. The Prince of Swords, you keep on, you're obsessive about something. You may be obsessive about finding love, going after somebody that is emotionally unavailable for you. Not caring who you hurt. Could, you know, I'm not sure what this is, but the Prince of Swords does, steps on other people's toes not realizing that they're only going to get hurt in the end. The external environment is right here. Heartache, pain. I think that you're hoping that a barrier will be removed. That's just a hope. I feel like you know, you need to be, you need to take your power back. You need to find that force within you to shed something that really, really, really doesn't serve you. You have the power to manifest anything you want, but you have to take action you have to use all those resources within you to get the golden opportunity that you deserve. But in order to do that, you have to shed some things. That's what the magician does. Again, what goes around comes around with that infinity sign. You know, what goes around comes around. So be careful. Be really, really, really careful with the choices that you make. You could get yourself into a false sense of security if you act impulsively. I mean, that's, I'm just being honest with you. This is happiness, rebirth, injustice, unfair treatment, not acting with integrity over in your challenge position. You need to be really careful here. Karma is a bitch. I'm not, I'm just being honest with you. So I feel like we have somebody here that is dealing with some karma. Could be past life karma. There's an opportunity to heal. This is healing. But you will have to do the right thing. And I feel like we have somebody here that is not doing the right thing. And I think that they're thinking about not doing the right thing because of loneliness. Loneliness is big. Don't, and this is a message that you need to hear. Do not let your loneliness bring you back to something that is false, that is not stable. Stand in your power. Stand in your power, please. Stand in your glory. You know, this is like a dying dream. This is, this is a, a you know, maybe you, you're you're fearful. You're fearful that you will never have happily ever after. Maybe you know you're you're mo there's a change in your relationship, a change in your home, a change in your status. You have the power to call in something solid and stable, but you need to make sure that you are being honest with yourself. You are not lying to yourself. You're not letting your loneliness stop you from manifesting what you are truly meant to have. Oh my goodness gracious. You have an opportunity for happiness here, 
but you need to let go of something that isn't stable. And that is the truth. You need to turn away from something. You need to get moving. You need to move on. You need to put yourself in the driver's seat. You need to deal with opposition. You need to find that mental strength to move, to move on. And don't look back. 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 Stop looking back. Did you hear me? This is unhealthy, toxic, based on lust, based on ego, codependency. We definitely, you could be dealing with a Capricorn, you could be dealing with a Cancer, you could be dealing with Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. I don't know who you're dealing with. Could be dealing with a Pisces, but whoever you're dealing with, it looks as though you're headed towards something unhealthy. Okay? You are. You're headed towards something unhealthy. A partnership. Some sort of union. It's not healthy. I don't care what anybody says. You can see that two of cups and be like, Oh, it's love. Oh, it's unhealthy. I got a friend. She does readings. And she out, she picks out the best cards sends me a picture and says, this is my reading. Thinks I'm stupid. That's fantasy, my dear. Fantasy. Uh, a, a fantasy union that is toxic and unhealthy. That is what you are headed towards. And I'm being honest with you. Happiness lies within yourself. Don't go back to an unhealthy, unstable situation. You have the power to make yourself happy. Love yourself first, Leo. And that is what I got. Good luck.